Hey there, Chase. Hey, how's it going? All right. Hey, uh, thanks for joining us. Got a few of the Tri-Cities media members on here with us, and they've all submitted their questions to me. Just going to run through them with you real quick. Uh, I'll go ahead and get going. Uh, your team's been pretty consistent to start the season, top five and a bunch of top tens. Has your team hit on something with the next-gen car, and do you feel like a win's coming soon? I hope so. Uh, that would be great for sure. Um, yeah, you know, I feel like there's been times we, we've had the pace to contend for wins. We just haven't put a whole race together, unfortunately. You know, be be good at certain points in the race and and not so good at other points in the race. And unfortunately, that doesn't pay. So we, uh, you know, want to want to get it right. Uh, I think we're very capable of getting it right. We just got to do it and, um, you know, keep running like we have been, uh, which I think has been a been a positive thing in terms of pace at, at different points of the race and and uh, the balance we're looking for in the car. You know, I, I feel like a lot of the – feel like all the keys of having success are, are kind of right in front of us and we just uh, haven't maximized the opportunities. Uh, last year at the dirt race, you finished in the top 10. Um, how much confidence does that give you uh, coming into that race this year? Oh, I'm not sure that it gives me much of any, to be honest. That that race was a bit of a nightmare. I felt like um, I thought we got pretty fortunate to run where we did. We had a lot going on there at the end uh, of the race and was kind of hanging on. But um, yeah, this year I, I think it's going to be just a completely different ball game with this car. Um, you know, good year, I think had some surprises thrown at them last year with just how the track ended up being and, and uh, potentially not being quite prepared for uh, the surface in terms of tire life and longevity. So uh, I'm curious to see how they reacted to that, how, how they're going to go about bringing another tire um, up there. And I, uh, I think it's going to be a pretty large challenge and, and a pretty far departure from what we had last year, just because this car is, is um, it's a good bit different than what we were working with last year, especially on a, on a, a dirt track one-off like, uh, like this. Was there anything from a driver's standpoint that you learned with the race last year? Yeah. I mean, it, to me, uh, you know, I came up there and, and ran, uh, a late model race there a couple weeks before the, the cup race. Um, you know, I, I think that the tough thing about the, the NASCAR side of it is just, it's kind of its own dirt race. You know, I think to, to lump it in with um, other short track style cars, you know, whether it be sprint cars or, or dirt late models, um, it's just a different event. And in saying that, it's not a bad thing. Um, it's just how they have to work the track and how the, the track surface has to be uh, for cars to race with windshields and, and, um, the, the radiators and, and things in our cars that are just not meant for dirt racing, that there are just certain things that you can't have. And, uh, you know, I felt like it went about as good as it could go last year. I think it's a great thing moving it tonight. I think it's going to help with a lot of the issues we had keeping some moisture in the track, hopefully. Um, and then obviously keeping the dust down. So I think everything that we learned last year has been a great tool of how to go about this season. It seems like we're doing all the right things and, and hopefully it can be a, you know, be a good show. I think it has a lot of potential. Have you been doing anything special to prepare for the race? Have you been running any other late models or anything? Uh, not really. No, I, I ran a, a late model race, uh, Atlanta weekend. Um, but I didn't really do it with Bristol in mind. I just had an opportunity to go race and, and did, um, I don't have any plans of running any dirt racing before next weekend. So yeah, just, uh, excited to get up there and give it another shot as kind of a, like I said, it was a different, different deal last year, tried to kind of, prep, uh, prep myself for it. And it was really just, it, it reminded me more of a very abrasive old asphalt race, um, more than it did any of the dirt racing I had done leading up to that. So, I think just being able to adapt quickly is going to be the key uh, because I think this year is going to be different than last and whoever, you know, hits on that quickly and, and figures out what it's going to take to be fast is likely going to, you know, going to be rewarded for it. Uh, you saw, we saw Joey Logano win last year. Do you feel like 
guys like Kyle Larson and um, Christopher Bell and some of the guys that have a lot of dirt experience? Is it just kind of out the window in that race? Um, I mean, I think Kyle and Christopher were pretty good last year too. Um, you know, I think they ended up getting in a wreck, but you know, I, I also think there's a lot of just really good race car drivers in general that may or may not have come up the dirt, uh, ranks to, to NASCAR. I mean, Joey's a, a good driver. Um, and, and no surprise that he, you know, won the race. So, he's about as asphalt of a guy as it gets. Right. So, um, you know, and, and he was able to able to figure it out. So I, I think that does kind of show you it was a bit of its own animal, um, and, and might not have, uh, catered to your typical dirt habits, um, at, at that race last year. Now this year may be different, but last year, like I said, it was really more of like a disciplined, uh, super abrasive, you know, track that was paved in 1950, uh, you know, somewhere in Florida that sits in the sun all, all summer, uh, was kind of what it, what it reminded me of. Uh, what are your thoughts on the next gen car so far? Yeah, I mean, it's a popular question. I look, I think it's fine. Um, I, I think that, uh, you know, from your average viewer outside looking in, I'm not sure that it really looks that much different, you know, candidly. Uh, it's a lot different for us. And if you're a fan that really enjoys diving into the details of of cars and, and uh, the mechanics and how they work and aerodynamics, then, then you might be intrigued because there is a lot of things going on, a lot of things we're working on behind the scenes to try to go fast. But, uh, you know, from just your average viewer, I think we're still, you know, racing on four tires on asphalt, turning left the majority of the time. So uh, I think it just depends on who you ask, but I think thus far the product has been exciting. Um, I think there's been a lot of, a lot of good things to talk about. I hope that continues forward. You know, I, I hope that we're able to carry that momentum and, and continue to put on exciting races down the road. Um, you know, I, I think right now we're, a lot of teams are just in so many different directions on setups and, and how to build our cars. Um, I'm curious to see what it looks like in, in a month or two months or three months when we're all going the same direction and we're all building the same cars, uh, even more so than they already are, and uh, how that impacts our, our entertainment value on track. And last thing, uh, you're a Georgia guy. Uh, do you follow golf and do you have a, a pick to win oh, the yeah. Masters this weekend? I do. I, I, I love golf. Um, love the Masters. Um, can't, I'm fixing to turn it on here as soon as I get done with uh, with this. But yeah, I, man, tough. Um, I was making some some picks yesterday. Uh, a couple of buddies of mine have a little pool going and and uh, ha have picks. So um, would love to see Tiger win it for sure. I mean, I think who who wouldn't? I think the internet might break, but. Um, I guess John Rahm is the favorite. I could I could see that. I'm a big Justin Thomas fan, so I would like to see him win. Um, but obviously, Tiger uh, would probably like to see him win the most out of all of them. But I uh, have become a Justin Thomas fan more than more than anything uh, over the past couple of years. Just seems I've never talked to him, but just seems like a nice guy and um, enjoy watching him play. So uh, pulling for him. Uh, he's he's kind of the the normal guy I've uh, enjoyed pulling for here lately, but it should be exciting. Love, uh, love that place. Beautiful down there. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Chase, and uh, good luck this weekend in Martinsville. We'll look forward to seeing you out here next weekend. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.